What's going on everybody? It's the Bag of Tricks here. Welcome back to another video. Before this video gets started, I just want to say that Bot Life Apparel has a full restock. We got the Park Rat long sleeve. We got the brand new Every Day is a Bluebird long sleeve. We have Bot Beanies in both black and white, the mountain necklace, stickers, everything under the sun, man. So be sure to pick some merch up and support the channel. Without further ado, let's hop right into this video. Today we're going to be talking about do you need twin tips or park skis to ski in the terrain park? So I get a lot of questions on my channel asking what kind of skis should I get? Are these skis fine for park? Are these skis fine for park? Yada, yada, yada. I get so many that I just can't keep up and I usually don't answer these questions, but hopefully this video helps a little bit. So one of the questions I get all the time is, do I need twin tips to ski in the park? Short answer, no, you don't. You do not need twin tips to, to ski in the park, you don't. Long answer is you really should. In my opinion, the only time you should be using anything but symmetrical twin tip park skis while you're in a terrain park is when you're very, very, very new. So let's say you're halfway through your second season, you have a pair of regular downhill skis, they're not twin tips, but you wanna learn how to hit a box, you wanna learn how to hit a little jump, um, and that's about it, that's the extent of it. Then I would say, yeah, you're fine. You're fine to go ahead and do it, you're fine to play around and, and learn how to do super basic tricks. One thing you will need though, is your skis will need to be detuned, even if they are downhill skis, especially if they are downhill skis. But you really, really, really should only be doing this with the most basic of tricks. The second you decide you wanna land backward, you need twin tips. The second you decide you wanna start throwing spins on jumps, you need twin tips. You need a symmetrical park ski. And it's not just because it allows you to ride backwards, it's because it gives you the tail, the length in the tail, to help you with those backseat landings and to help prevent injury. I mean, I really would not suggest skiing park and doing difficult tricks on, on downhill racing skis. That's just not what they're made for. I wanted to keep this video short. I wanted to make it very straight, very to the point. If you are very new and you're halfway through a season and you don't wanna buy new park skis, then yeah, go ahead and try to learn your boxes, try to learn your straight airs. But that's it, man. Don't go any further than that until you have a pair of skis that are twin tip. I've seen people accomplish tricks in the park with downhill skis but they are very experienced park riders and they know what they're doing already if you're new and you try to send a 180 on downhill skis without a tip you're gonna get hurt you're gonna get injured it's gonna be bad and i i really really don't want that so the second you decide you want to start learning real tricks that's the second you need to decide, okay, it's time for me to go get a pair of skis. Now you don't have to buy them brand new, you can buy them used, you can buy them from whoever you want, wherever you want, but you really should have that curve on the tail once you start throwing real tricks in the park. So there it is guys, I wanted to make this quick, to the point, and hopefully help everybody that's wondering this. Do you need twin tips to ski in the park? If you're gonna go past 180, if you're gonna go past the straight air and past the side slide on a box, Yes, you need twin tips. It's not just a suggestion, it's it's a necessity. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video helps. If you have any additional questions, please leave them down below in the comments and I will make sure to get to them. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.